first week of May is Teacher Appreciation Week. Every year around this time, we recognize the educators who go above and beyond for their students. But over the last year, above and beyond took on a whole new meaning. That's why we're taking the entire month of May to honor local teachers as part of our new Excellent Educators series. Tenant your sides, Maria Elena Beloris kicks it off in James City County. Creativity and flexibility are two qualities every teacher has, but this past year, those skills were taken to the next level. One teacher in James City County clearly illustrated that as she helped her students adapt and made sure they were supported. My name is Lindsay Ambrose. I am a special education teacher at Toano Middle School. Meet Lindsay Ambrose. This is her seventh year teaching at Toano Middle School in James City County. The last year has been very challenging. As a special education teacher, Ambrose knows how to adapt, but 2020? It's made me think out of my box and get out of my comfort zone a lot. When schools first closed in March, Ambrose made sure her students had the supplies they needed. We quickly gathered materials. We weren't really sure. My kids um, struggle with the online learning. Just a few months later, she had another life-changing event. I had a baby in May. So <laughs> throwing that into a mix, I, um, it made it a little more challenging personally, but um, I kind of took my week and got back into it. You heard that right. She was back to virtual teaching just one week after giving birth to her second child. It kind of reminds me of, in all this craziness, there is goodness. She and her students were out of the classroom from March until September. It was pretty fun. I could stay in my pajamas all day and just lay down and watch TV. All of them are happy to be back. Good to see my friends and Lauren. Ambrose is making sure her students feel safe and protected, creating these barriers out of plastic pipes and shower curtains. As we knew we would be eating in the classroom and doing activities, and um, with my population of students, wearing a mask can be a challenge, so I wasn't sure how well they were going to adapt, but they've done beautifully. She says the last year has been crazy, but... Looking back on it, you know, I, I don't think I would change anything. Ambrose comes from a family of educators. She says teaching special education is her cup of tea, and she's looking forward to a continued return to normal. I'm Maria Elena Valores, 10 on your side.